Biblically speaking, we have men who are brothers in a family. And in truth, those brothers have gone off long ago to create their own families of choice with new wives and children. But when they return home, they are often abusive to somebody. They're abusive to their sisters with their words, their acts, their jokes, their epitaphs, or their hands, their loins. And that's immoral. When men are abusive, they're often abusive in the shadows because of the laws that say men don't have the right to be abusive. And police officers know that they don't have the right to be abusive to anyone, but they still do it every day. We still see it in the news in every way. And every time they do this, they debilitate the force that is allegedly supposed to protect everyone without discrimination. There are women in a community that are gay. Who cares? There are men in a community that are gay. Who cares? But the religious right cares so much about their sex lives, it's not even funny. When in truth, they should be concerned more about their souls. You see, every child coming through the womb today is a gift from God. And that's what these people don't get, is that God creates everybody. And when God creates everybody, those religious writers think he doesn't. And what I mean by a religious writer is someone who's living on the extreme end of religion and usually knows next to nothing about the Bible with regard to exegesis or human nervics, I think is the word, that basically gives us the context of which those words were written and why they were. Today, America is different. We are way beyond eating manna in the desert. We are in the world today to provide nothing for ourselves is untrue. We don't have the right to covet someone else's girl is true. But sometimes women, and many times women, never pick the right husbands because of their vanity or their vices. And their vanity is I need this, and their vices I'm gonna do this. The truth is that the American continent is always being abused by people who don't realize what God is. God is greater than everybody, but the truth is they don't think about their heaven-sent capabilities. When God sends heaven to a man, he has gifts. And those gifts say, don't play with the Lord. Don't play against his plans and don't play in the shadows of the world.